out to be a fabulous feminist. Okay, so today to do. Okay. Um all right, so today to do attend alternative middle school with student tech comm student. Lower pain and isolation. Collect fabulous memories. Got the writing program, civic engagement grant. Fight sexism. Say no. Homeless task force meeting this afternoon. Get angry. Get active. Take pictures for the homeless newspaper. Discuss the newspaper as client project for technical communication. Uh, oh, finalize the feminist workshop performance. Don't agonize. Organize. Grade TechCom midterms. Oh, finalize the ethics workshop application. You think we're going to get all that done today? Oh, yeah. Okay, so add yours. Okay. Put, put a different color, but add it if you can, you know, where it okay. makes sense. Okay, yeah. So we can kind of figure out. Okay. We need to take risks. Grade writing to inform composition papers. Avoid burnout. Talk to civic engagement assistant coordinators about the final showcase. Take your power back. Do it now. Oh, revision of the major, courses and timeline. Draft student learning outcomes, academic learning compacts. Complete my annual review. Arg! Okay, so be a mover and a shaker. Finalize four C's presentation. The other one. The other one. Heal yourself. Heal the world. Oh, we've got that civic engagement chapter. Oh, yeah. When's that due? The 15th? Mm -hmm. I haven't heard back from them, by the way. Get powerful. Get, Get respect. respect. <laughs> so I think that what we're talking about is what we talked about earlier today was what are the three or four things we want people to take away from this. So when I look at my feminist activism, the community, my own biases, for me it's that reflection back on myself. How do I? So anyway, I can play with that. I'll play with those ideas and try to pull something together um, because that's kind of what I've been thinking about this whole time is what's, what's the point? Mm -hmm. What's the point of this whole thing? Why are we doing this? But I, I, I think that ultimately that is the piece that sustains us. If you think about who we are and why we've come together as a group of people, a group of feminists, as a group of compositionists who do civic engagement, these are the things that move us forward. We are introspective. Mm -hmm. We are um, very dedicated to our jobs and to our lives and to our families. And we need something, sometimes it's an external force that helps us shift between mm -hmm. those different things. And apparently, I'm just <laughs> There you go. I'm you need to be. <laughs> well, um, and that's, the, yeah, and you know, as, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking about how, how it, it's exciting because it's like thinking about the meeting that we had this morning. I'm thinking, okay, here we are in this space, church, and we're talking about these connections, and we're talking about our kids, and we're talking, and then, and so I get frustrated, but I'm like, look at all the amazing connections. I go to a homeless meeting, it's technical communication, it's my students, I go and hang out at this alternative school, which is really uncomfortable, and that causes me to question why I'm there, and what I'm doing, and so it's integrated, integrated chaos, and that's one of the things that I don't think we're ever going to get away from in terms of life. Right. And I think, but one of the beautiful things about chaos is that there are patterns to it. Mm -hmm. And that we have found each other's patterns. 
And I think that that's what works. And that's why the communications are important. That's why we grapple with these questions the way that we do. Because we have found a pattern in that chaos. And we're holding on to that pattern for everything we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, actually, we're actually both here, really. <laughs>